again, great, Grayson, oh yeah, they're a blind fire, I believe that's the one, like, if you're, when your vision is, like, obscured by the blast of a flare. Right. Ah. Oh, friendly, friendly fire. fire. That's, um, knocking a, knocking a guy into the, into another guy, into an enemy's fire. Uh. <laughs> so, and actually the flare gun guys are potentially really good candidates for that because the flare shot is so powerful. It's both powerful, but rel but you can see it coming because they have to charge it. So it's like a good way to get points is to like kick a guy into the path of the flare that's about to fire. Hmm. Yeah. Grayson, Grayson has a bit of a problem, as you may recall. Yes. Booze is a game. Booze is a game mechanic in this. There I'll show you. Yeah, see, now, see, this looks like it used to be a real nice place. Oh, yeah. Shoot down. Shoot down incoming players. And again, this game really seems like it was made very much with two-player co-op in mind, and then they pulled it at the last second. Because you always have... I, I'm pretty sure you absolutely always have an AI-controlled companion. Hmm. And it really seems... And the story is set up to make sure that, you know, you, always, you, know, you always have somebody with you. It really seems like it was they it was made specific to have that. It was like a last minute decision not to. That Fish wouldn't food. surprise me. Okay, there's something devouring him in the water, as you can see there. Isn't that like a? a... No, uh, I thought it was just a fountain. Well, it's a fountain of blood <laughs> from from him. Yeah, I don't know what they stocked that pond with. Piranhas, apparently, or the native equivalent. Super piranhas. Of course, maybe they weren't there originally back when this was nicer and the, you know, the, the local, you know, Mad Max crowd put them in there later. <laughs> That'd be pretty hilarious. Some local warlord who wanted something he could, like, dramatically throw enemies into. And then he'd get thrown in later. It's the natural, it's the circle of life. The natural order. The signal should be around here. So to find this broad and get a jump ship home. How far? Close. You have 500 points for that. Huh. I don't know why. I don't know why the. Uh, uh oh. And also, you, if you, in case you didn't hear it, that thing, that robot was talking about like let your inhibitions drift away. Like this is talking about like, basically it's like like this is like a resort or something. Interesting. Oh, death by cactus! <laughs> oh, see that big thing there? Yeah. It has it has a little like fire thing, like icon over it. Oh yeah. That can be. That is highly volatile. So I remember from a design uh, documentary about. And also, you can you can grab it with your leash and pull it. Nice. Although it appears to be like a hot dog cart or something, so... Maybe it's propane. Or space I propane. Guess. Space pain. <laughs> that's, that's the technical term. Oh! Big broken, like, electrical sign. Knock dudes into that. <laughs> this game... This game that, this is a game that definitely needs to be heard as well as seen. <laughs> Um, I remember, I, I want to say Cliffy B, and I think I said this last time, um, said that he had uh, challenges because he designed the exploding barrels to be green. In this game? Yeah, originally. Okay. And nobody... Well, how, I, 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 I know this game was like produced by him. How closely involved was he in, in it? Because I mean, it was done by people who can fly. I think he might have he... He might have had some design influence. Okay. Because he mentioned um, having the barrels green, oh. and then nobody, 
knowing to shoot them. Oh, oh yeah. Well, folks, by the way, this the reason I'm doing this, incoming copyrighted music, and I didn't want to risk a uh, an ID. So. What was the song? It's it's not gonna, it hasn't started just yet, but basically when I get into the uh, firefight inside, if you can if you have uh, if you can get a copy of the song Disco Inferno and start that up, <laughs> that'll that'll give you the original experience. And you're not talking about shaking, you know, some sort of dance club. Yeah. Oh, there's some booze. But I thought Ishii said he would skin us alive. Okay, I imagine the, that music playing now. Okay, now, when you're drunk... You don't, intoxicated? Yeah. You get, you get an intoxicated bonus for every kill you make while you're drunk like this. Huh. And now while you're drunk, your vision is blurry, your aim sways around. It's... it's it, it is a definite seriously... serious disadvantage. But you get style points for it. Yes. Oh! But not health points. Well, the lip... No. All, all, all the... All the, all, the, all the alcohol in Gray's bloodstream, it just ignited <laughs> when he got shot. Just... just like Keith Richards. <laughs> That's why he has to have his blood replaced in Switzerland every year. <laughs> All right, let's give let's give that another shot. So yeah, just I'm sure I'm sure someone put it on YouTube. Just find Disco Inferno. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Beats from the streets to get you into the sheets. Is that what he said? Yeah. Well, there there don't seem to be a lot of ladies here right now. No, so it's not a good place. Ooh. Well, although to be fair, I. Maybe some of the maybe some of the uh, more heavily armored post-apocalyptic mutants are women, and we just can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, these are the main like boss-type enemies in the game, or like or mid-boss. So you just have to take cover and fire. Pretty much. Hmm. Some of them will have different weapons later. Although there are there are some like uh, these guys. I don't know. I don't find these guys all that interesting to fight because they're basically mostly just bullet sponges. Yeah, they look like it. And like once they take enough damage, they sort of like fall over, and then you can kick or leash off their helmet, and then then the fight resumes. Hmm. But now they can take headshots and stuff. Yeah. Weird. There we go. Nice. Okay, there's the pistol. You can see it. It, it, it. It's a lot slower, but it's a big bang. And right, I'll grab this. Oh. I've been to bars like this. <laughs> exactly like this. Pretty much. Well, they didn't play disco music. But... Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's not the '70s. Who plays disco anymore? Well, maybe maybe that's what destroyed civilization here. <laughs> now, the full the full throttle uh, skill shot just if you shoot if you kill more than one guy without releasing the trigger. Is that on any gun or that gun specifically? Any gun. It's I mean the the Gatling gun is the most one you're most well any gun that can fire like continuously. Okay. Um, the, it's much easier with the Gatling gun. You can do it with the carbine as well. I'm a little surprised by the lack of weapon variants. There will be a few more. There, there will be more. Hmm. But there's not a huge number in this game. There's like six or seven, I think. Although, on the plus side, the, um... On the plus side, the weapons in this game are actually quite diverse. Hmm. It's not like Call of Duty where, you know, you've got like, a, you've got like you know, a bunch of diff you know, slightly different assault rifles. Yeah. Every weapon in this game is 
very uh, distinct. distinct. It has a, in like what so it's you, used for its mechanics. So you can leash people through those things, huh? Yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's often a valuable tactic. A guy is on the opposite side of a hazard. You, you reach through it and yeah, do that sort of thing. Interesting. And um. Trouble. Oh, there's another hot dog cart. Oh, yeah! Nice. Killing people with it is called Sausage Fest. That's the skill shot they have. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's for killing them with the explosion or by just kicking it into them. But... Or the hot dog cart? Yeah. Mm. Well, a nice little respite from the action. But yeah, I once I will say the thing. The weapons are quite all quite um very distinct, and there's some that I really haven't seen an equivalent to in other games. Oh, huh. well, that's cool. The next weapon you get is like this, uh, basically this, and now we can have the music back. The uh, is like this, uh, these two explosives on a chain, and you fire it like it wraps around guys. Oh, like an explosive bolo. Yeah. Cool. And. And then when you then you press the trigger a second time to detonate it. So what you can do is like you can entangle a guy in it and then like say kick him towards another guy and time the detonation to get more than one. Nice. Stuff like that. There's the there's the there's a sniper rifle, which I'm actually weirdly enough I'm not fond of, and I'm, I generally like sniper rifles are my weapon of choice in shooter games, but I actually don't like the one in this. Hmm. Oddly. What is that? And it, it's like, well, it's, it's you you can actually guide the projectiles in flight, which sounds cool, and you'd think that would make it easier to hit guys with. But the projectiles also seem to be like really like are like slow enough that guys can move out of the way. That sucks. And they will, and they will. So you have to steer it into them, which is kind of, kind of tricky. So is it? And so, uh, do you have bullet time, or are the bullets just so slow that they, <laughs> they see them coming? It's. it's 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 in bullet time, but the bullets are also apparently slow enough that they can move they can move out of the way unless you continuously steer them. That's pretty. So it's kind of a it's kind of a pain. Is there a non-guiding so mode? Uh, you can, but you're but you're not. I mean, yeah, you can like you you can, but you're not gonna hit. You're almost likely not gonna hit anything. Oh. Because they'll they'll evade. Yeah, that's annoying. It's weird. And it's actually and an interesting inversion. There's a shot. There's a shotgun in this as well. Which I absolutely love, which is also weird because I'm generally not into shotguns in games. Huh. Actually, so this gun's a lot of fun. shotguns are actually my favorite. And, uh, okay. I don't know if it's because, uh, for most games, the effective range for shotguns means I don't have to actually aim. Or what? <laughs> well, the one in this is fun because it's got four barrels. Nice. And it's powerful enough that there are skill shots for literally, like, blowing people in half. <laughs> Uh oh, guy's getting air dropped in. You know, you're really lucky they keep dropping your ammo. Yeah. Well, it seems like there's only a couple types of weapons on the planet. Uh, I suppose. Uh oh, these these guys, these are suicide bombers. Oh. Oh dear. They've got bombs strapped to them, and if they get close enough, they 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 then they will strap it to you. That sucks. And then, although it, it doesn't kill you instantly, at least not on normal. Ow. Okay, so there's not a way well, to get it off. Not once it's on you, no. You gotta shoot them before they reach you. The plus side is that because they, you know, the, you can use the explosion to take out multiple guys, and you can do stuff like that. You like you pull him, you leash him in, then kick him back and use him as a use him as a bomb. Bombshell. All right, so maybe maybe okay. I don't get oh, shit. the term. Like calling a lady a bombshell. What does that mean? Well, well, I mean she's like really hot. Right, but how? Like, how does that? Because I don't know. Because bombshells I mean, are physically hot originate? after they've exploded. I don't know. Maybe it's like an explosive, explosive effect on the viewer. I don't know. 